Hi Virgos, thanks so much for tuning in. I'm Astro Girl and we're looking at May 30th through June 5. So we are on the fast track to being halfway through the year already. Now just a quick recap, a look at June for you. Virgos, if associates don't sympathize with your concerns in early June, which is this week and next week, it's all about bad timing. So don't be too aggressive near the night. Focus instead on expanding your social and professional circles so that you have some support behind whatever decisions you make. Wait until July to get an accurate reading on what is or isn't feasible. By the 8th, you'll appear to be finding common ground with those who can help you make your dreams reality and enjoying life much more fully. Now, Keeping in mind that Jupiter, the planet of good luck and opportunity, remains in your sign through early September. So you've got June, July, August, three months to really kick goals and to, you know, reach for the stars and think about the fact that you've got such good luck on your side. Jupiter really is the Santa Claus and the gift bringer of the Zodiac. And it's like lottery winning kind of luck and energy. But of course, you shouldn't just think you're going to win the lottery and all your problems are going to be solved. It's more about right place, right time, meeting somebody who's going to help you or going to suggest us something or mention, oh, this I saw this house and it's not really for me, but it's on this street and you're like, that house sounds like something I would like and that's how you find out about it. Or you run into someone in the supermarket or, you know, picking up dry cleaning, who tells you about a job that they um, went for and they don't think they got it and what they're looking for. And you think, I could do that. That's my cup of tea. And you go and you apply. And it's not like you're stealing anything from anybody. People are telling you these things. It's like they're cast offs. They don't want it or didn't work out for them. So, you know, don't ever look opportunity in the face. You go after it and grab it because it's been put in your lap for a reason. And that's what Jupiter does. Provides you with, you know, manna from heaven, shall we say. Now this week, there is a very nice, practical, earthy, grand trine with the Taurus moon on Thursday, Jupiter in your sign, of course, and Pluto in Capricorn, forming a, a harmonious triangle. And with Jupiter moving direct, this triple header in all earth signs has many gifts to bestow on the material world in terms of health, wealth, and happiness. Everything is moving full speed ahead, Virgos, when Saturn, which really is the uh, Debbie Downer of the Zodiac, the planet of focus and restriction makes its entrance on Friday, June 3, in the shape of an opposition to the sun. Consider this a warning because this standoff is usually a reminder that if you insist on going over the speed limit, you can count on getting busted. The Gemini new moon signals the beginning of a favorable two-week startup period beginning Saturday, June 4. This month's new moon is so well connected to Venus that even the square from Jupiter can't stop things from moving forward. If you heed Saturn's warning to play by the rules, you, this can be a fantastic week. Now that new moon is going to be transiting your 10th house of career and ambition. Where do you see yourself in the next couple of months work-wise? Keeping in mind, Jupiter is in your sign through early September. It's, it's a good time to make that leap. Now that Mercury is moving direct and Jupiter is moving direct, the only planet that's not favorable right now is Mars. But Mars moves direct at the end of June. And if you're thinking of going on a job interview, I wouldn't let that stop you. So think about that as well. Have a wonderful week. Great speaking to you. And I do look forward to speaking to you again next week, Virgos.